Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, the, this week has been crazy for the UK. While the, the world and the UK have been looking at the newest, craziest movie of Pennywise Psychopathic Clown, the UK itself has been given its own set of clowns, led by this lovely lady here called Joe Swindon, the new la liberal democrat leader. Now, her and the liberal democrats are becoming quite a joke in the country right now. Last week I took a, well in the last video, I took a go at the Labour Party doing, and where the Remainers, going about the communist ways, which is quite sad song to be honest. I never wanted that to see that in my country, but it looks like we're going to have communists new. So, we have communists, Brexiteers, and now clowns? Very interesting to find clowns as a choice. Why do I say this stuff? Well, this week the conference for the, La the Liberal Democrats has been, you know, shown. And Joe Swindon and most of the La Liberal Democrats, I am so close to calling them Labour because they are just literally them. Sorry. Um, the Liberal Democrats at the conference and they have shown their true bias against Brexit. Now, we know we're only un just about a month away from Brexit, but from the party that is lit, it's so confusing trying to figure out what their manifesto is, it's kind of close to Labour's one. It's that annoying. I can't figure out any better the logic. Why do I say this? Well, Joe Swindon, the new leader of the party, well, she's just kind of fucked her own conversations up. It, it, it just makes no sense. And it's basically took the ball out of the park and everyone's like, What the hell is going on? And it's it's not, I'm not joking, it's a fucking joke. What, so, what, what did she say? Or what did they say? Well, for the last three years, the Liberal Democrats and their previous leader have all said they would vote for a second left for Lendum if the vote never went their way, which is damn obvious because they never wanted Brexit. And, well, they never wanted Brexit. They lost. So they were going to vote for a second left for Lendum. They were in marches and all that. We saw that quite clearly. They didn't respect the left for Lendum vote that the 17.4 million people voted to leave. They didn't want that, so they get the no vote of, well, the vote of, let's do a second referendum. And now, that is completely went out the fucking window. So, what has happened now is Joe Swindon has said, soon as we get a majority from a general election, which they said they wouldn't do, because Boris gave them the choice of a general election, they and they said no twice, keep in our mind, they will vote or they will remove Article 50 and stop Brexit altogether. Now, take that in for just a little second. Now, that was a bit fuck. This is just a bit off minded because. For the Liberal Democrats, you know, the Liberal Democrats, that sounds like wise people in the Democrat Party. That <laughs> never happened that before. Never happens. Well, it looks like they're going to be unliberal and go biased against the democracy. So, they are going to ignore 17.4 million people in the vote of the referendum just so they can get their own way. And if these guys ever gain power, democracy is dead. I mean, it's already on the edge of, like, death's door. I mean, I'd rather not support Kenny coming back to life again. That's how bad it is. So, they're saying they won't support the referendum, or they won't support Brexit, 
And every time she gets questioned, or Joe Swindon, or any of the other ones, they are just a joke. Honestly, they're just a joke. I mean, I'm going to be reacting to, or talking about the Liberal Democrats part in the question time that was going on, which you see a picture of here. Oh, the, this guy was just a fucking idiot. I'm sorry. He was just stupid. But just this one video that came up on the STV channel, well, or STV on Facebook, was quite extraordinary because, well, let's just let you watch this two-minute footage. I'm sorry, but I couldn't find this footage on fi YouTube because... Honestly, the STV news page has gone quite bad. Four months, seven months, and a year since their last video on the news page. This is Scotland's alternative news page. Go and watch it. I'll let you watch. I'm sorry the content looks a bit slow because it's the way the camera works and this recording doesn't seem to be working. So it's a bit out of focus. You're saying even if the SNP gets a majority at the next Hollywood election, they don't have a mandate for a second independence referendum. Isn't that position total hypocrisy? Look, we're in a Brexit impasse at the moment. We need to find a is way that of resolving. No, we need to find a way of resolving. Can you to me how that isn't hypocritical. Because a mandate for you means you can stop Brexit. A mandate for them means they can't push for India F2. We're way out of a Brexit gridlock, a Brexit mess. I don't think there's anybody that looks at this situation and doesn't agree that we are in a complete mess with Brexit. So we need to find a way through that. We're not in a mess in terms of Scotland's position within the United Kingdom. So there's no, there's no argument to say that you know, suddenly having a, a referendum that puts huge uncertainty onto our economy, that makes it harder to get business investment, that damages job prospects, is something which is a positive, a positive thing okay, to do. It's a pretty dangerous path for you to take your party down, to pick which referendum and which referendum results you don't like. Well, we had a referendum in Scotland on a very specific deal for independence, and that was rejected. The Brexit referendum was effectively on a blank sheet of paper that was summed up later as Brexit means Brexit. Three and a half years on, it's still hard to get Brexiteers to agree what Brexit means. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That is just fucking stupid. I'm sorry. That is just how the Liberal Democrats work now. It's actually, as the presenter said, it's funny they never talk about this because Jill Swindon herself did actually say if, um, you know, before, this happened on the um, politics channel live, I think it was somewhere, on BBC, that if sh the second referendum happened and they lost again, she wouldn't respect the referendum result. So that's a good thing to know. But then again, we've got the Scottish independence movement. Now that has been given a bit of light recently thanks to David Cameron. Not about him because I don't care about him. But, so she in says the we had a clear mandate on the Scottish independence and that was final. But then when the independence won for the UK to leave the EU comes, you decide to change your mind. Because the Scottish independence won is somehow different from the Brexit one. Because the in Scottish independence one was to break from the British, uh, from England and Wales and Northern Ireland, to break the union. But for Britain to leave the EU with your buddies in the big powerhouse, no, 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 you're not get that part in, do you, lass? No, that's just it. That is just not it. And it was like a Brexit was on blank sheet of paper. The question was, do you want to leave the fucking EU or not? And everyone was quite aware of what the hell it was. And if you didn't care what you were on about, that's your fault. But a lot of the Remainers didn't care about what half the stuff they're talking about. So now we have to suffer with this. Now, I don't know about you, I thought that was just hilarious. You would not find this footage anywhere else. But... For Joe Swindon, the leader of the party, to actually come out and say 
one, David Cameron's fault for this decision, where the Liberal Democrats actually had a mandate at the time they had eight MPs, eight, in 2008 for an, a Bre uh, Brexit scenario, you know, where Britain would leave the EU, which is here on the channel here, where it was discussed on in the Parliament. Here you go. For too long, power has been concentrated in those who are appointed, not elected. And the structures of the EU have often proved cumbersome to say the least, at times even making this house look modern and streamlined by comparison. No easy task. I'm very grateful to the Honourable Lady. Given that she's so very keen on citizens' initiatives, doesn't she think it would be an initiative to give citizens in her own constituency a referendum on this treaty, as she yeah. promised? We are actually, in fact, we, we did have the, uh, the, the issue, which I'm sure people, other people may not have been asleep in the chamber today when, uh, when it happened, but in fact, the Liberal Democrats would like to have a referendum on the major issue of in and out of Europe. Uh, it's on the, on the issue of in or out of Europe. I have to thank the Daily Express for having this video on their website, so check it out. She says it right there, and she completely denies it every time she gets asked. She's just like Boris. <laughs> Funny that. And the other thing is where... And two, to come out and actually say we're going to stop Brexit altogether if we get a majority government. You've revoked the chances of that happening because you said no to the general election twice. So have fun trying to get that going because you were given the choice twice. But you said no because you know you're going to lose because you know your party's fucked. And everyone knows your party's going to go down the drain as soon as they get the heads sticking out the trench, don't they? The head's going to come straight off from the German trenches are going to shoot you. And then the third thing, well actually part of the second thing, this is kind of part of the third thing, no Brexit at all. Britain has been in uncertainty for three years for the government and the media going against the people, 17.4 million people. This isn't just your mu neighbor Mike and your, the, his wife you're on about. You're on about 17.4 million people. That's a, a ha nearly half the fucking country you're on about. And you just decide to change the referendum because you don't like it and just completely stop Brexit? Sorry. That just doesn't. And for the other thing that came out of the conference, which funny enough to hear was the fact of becoming the next Prime Minister in the next general election that they're apparently going to win. <laughs> That's going to win such a mega majority. Now, I don't know if anyone's remembered this, but the Lib Dems, like I've said before, the Lib Dems, Labour and Tory remain leaning content have all decided not to go for the general election, which was asked for twice already. So, for them to do it the third time around, it'd be a bit fucking weird, won't it? You've given the choice twice, because you didn't like the boss, so you're going to go for the third time, and somehow he's not going to be in charge still. Ha! Ah, uh, you guys have thought this out so well, and I have, I'm a guy who sits at a computer all day. That's fucking stupid. So, after all that, I don't really think there's much to be said. But the conference was okay. It wasn't a too much of a, you know, what I was expecting. It was just an average conference. I mean, it was the most random event to be going on for the Lib Dems. Because they are the most national party now. They are the pro destroy Brexit thing. We are the Remain Party. No more second vote. Just get rid of Brexit all together, folks. Get rid of it all together. So, what I think about that, a bit fucking worrying if they ever get into much better power. Highly doubt they're going to win a lot of election seats because, I mean, they might win some of the 
the main seat, but it, it's just stupid what they're asking for. It's completely against the manifesto they did from 2008 onwards. So, whether you think of my voice on this video, please be sure to share this video because YouTube is changing the algorithm so people cannot watch my videos or any content that goes against their bias. Because I realised I was watching videos about people talking about fucking cartoons, Disney cartoons, and I wasn't even interested. And that's all I was getting videos about. Not politics, I usually have a channel on this thingy for researching. It's a bit Disney vi movies. That, that's so definitely politics is, so. So thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to follow this channel. Please subscribe even if you don't want to. So just notification on the bell if you do want to hear some more. I'll be trying to make more videos as it comes out. Politics is changing every day. Thank you and see you later. Thank you.